That was quite the horse ride. Wow. Up and down hills, through forests. We crossed two rivers. Oh, look at drinking milk. We've signed up to do a boat excursion in a few hours. And our guide was saying we need to drink water from there. That's like been frozen and is now coming down the mountain after 3,000 years. That's great, a little bit of a rickety uh, old suspension bridge, but beautiful views. Doo 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 doo, waterfall, nice dance moves. Woohoo! Well, good morning, good morning, everyone. Hey guys, back in our favorite place here in Patagonia, El Bolson. <laughs> we sure are, here we are. And today we have signed up to do a horse trek yes. to one of the few attractions that we haven't been to yet. It's called yeah. Cajon del Azul. Apparently we're gonna see some beautiful rivers and mountains. Exactly, the interesting thing is that we're visiting here in the fall a different mm. time of year. It's very wet, it's very yes. rainy, and this is the one day on our scheduled visit that we have no rain, so we are taking full advantage of that and we're going to enjoy some adventure travel here in El Bolson too. One of the, exactly one of the very few places we have to <laughs> Water. <laughs> and we're across the misty forest. Well, that was a big ride. Yeah, that was quite the horse ride. We were going up and down hills through forests. We crossed two rivers and we finally made it to our destination here, which is the Cajon de Azul. Yes. Which is basically the, the Blue Canyon. You see this amazing river and then you have a canyon and then off in the distance, of course, you have the glaciers on the mountain. Mm -hmm. So, Which was covered by the, the fog, the, yeah, the mist, the clouds. Our, our visibility is limited. I mean, we still picked a good day to go. <laughs> if we had done this yesterday, we probably would have saw nothing. But um, yeah, I mean, very adventurous, very fun. It's just been, it's been a really cool day. And mm. this is, this was the, the big ticket item that we hadn't done in El Bolson on the first two visits. So it's fun to, to finally do. This is probably, the, probably the main attraction, honestly, in the city. And we had somehow skipped it up until now. Yes. And now we're going to have a little, a little picnic. We, we had some empanadas with friends last night. So that's what's love. Got some crackers, cheesy crackers and a trail mix. There so, we go. Bon appetit. Sustenance. Mm. Having empanada with the caps. Mm. Oh, look at drinking milk. Looks like I want milk. Oh, look. It's getting pesos. Look, pesos. 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 Look, it's getting pesos. I'll drink. Look. Well, we just finished sharing our lunch with the kittens. <laughs> yeah, we ended up giving almost more of the empanadas oh. to the cats. They were so sweet. Yeah. Five like of them in total, I think. A whole family yeah, appeared. Whole family. We started with one cat and oh, it's muddy here. then a whole bunch of kittens appeared. Yeah. So yeah, we shared with them. And now we are headed down to a spot that's called Bosones. Mm -hmm. They're like these swimming holes where in the summertime, you know, people hike up, enjoy a swim, then back down the mountain. And our guide is going to meet us there with the horses in a few moments. We're kind of lucky with that. Huh? <laughs> Otherwise, we'd be walking all the way back up and up down, the up and down. Save our legs a bit. Yeah. And what did you think of the trail that we went on uh, through the forest? That oh, was nice too. It was too, really huh? nice. Yeah. I mean, did a little hike after we got off the horse. My my knees were kind of wobbly. <laughs> so it was really good. Feeling good now. 
and ready to hop back on the horse. Back on. And right on back home. Into town. Right on back into town. Alrighty friends, greetings from Lago Puelo, Lake Puelo. Here we are in the province of Chubut. We're back, an old familiar favorite here in Patagonia. Yes. One of our favorite spots, just an absolutely gorgeous place to be. Mm -hmm. In fact, I mean, this is, this is the place where Lago Puelo means three different things. Oh. It's a town, it's also the lake, and it's a national park. <laughs> there so, you go. <laughs> yeah, it's very tranquil here and it's one of our favorite places we've ever been to in Patagonia. And we've signed up to do a boat excursion in a few hours. We're mm -hmm. going to be traveling all the way to the border with Chile. Yeah. But more on that later. Right now we've got a bit of free time, so let's go hiking. the journey it was great what an awesome ride smaller vessel this time we came and did the same journey uh, a few years ago we were in a bigger boat it's so much nicer to be in a little boat that's nifty and navigates around the lake a little easier yep. we disembarked. disembarked now we've got a little hike to the rapids apparently there's also going to be a stream and our guide was saying we need to drink water from there it's like the most pure water that's like been frozen and is now coming down the mountain after 3,000 years. Oh. So, I mean, he's, he's selling me on it. The ultimate refreshing drink. <laughs> <laughs> Natural water. The water was glacial, refreshing, full of minerals, I imagine. It was tasty, I liked it. Alrighty, back on solid ground. That was awesome. Wasn't it was, it? yes. Gosh, what a beautiful park. What a beautiful boat ride. Amazing hike. I mean, I just feel privileged to have the chance to come back and do this. I really enjoyed that boat tour. How about you? It was a lot of fun and we had a great guide yeah. who was really funny yes. and like passionate about the park and yes. the place. And I don't know, that always makes it more fun when you've got that contagious excitement so. yeah it, it honestly makes a huge difference having a guide who and, and we've been traveling enough that we know when someone's going through the motions yes big time yeah that was just totally awesome and um 
Highly recommend it. Again, this is somewhat underrated in yes, Patagonia. I'd say. A lot of people don't come here. So if you're looking to visit some underrated off the beaten path places, consider Lago Pueblo. Lago Pueblo. Dinner time. Dinner time. Apparently we might be having the best pizza in Patagonia. Check that out. I mean, it's basically the, it's the kind of like the, the loaded fries flavor. You've got the cheddar, the mozzarella, you've got the, the bacon, and then you have the chives. Oh, I forget the name. Pizza di Parma. <laughs> there we go, my bad. Taste test time. Check that out, guys. Loaded. Mm. That really is amazing pizza like that. There's levels and that's right near the top. Top level Just pizza. Just so loaded with delicious toppings. It's really good. Like I can't wait for you to try it. Okay. Wow. Tell us about dessert. So the place we had lunch is actually a chocolate shop, a chocolateria. So what happens here is you can buy boxes. This is the 250 grams and they allow you to get an assorted goodie box. If you take a look here, you can see we've got all kinds of different flavors. There's like forest berries, rum, there was Bailey's, as many choices as you could imagine. So they have a fantastic selection and we got completely different ones. So we're gonna try a couple on camera here. And we kind of went hog wild. There's a lot of fruit filled chocolate. So there's like raspberry, forest berry, strawberry, banana, mm -hmm. lemon, mint. Let's try this. This one's very red. The strawberry. Mm -hmm. How's that? I think that's raspberry. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mint. Mm. <laughs> it's just grab, bite. Mm. 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 Everything's tasty. I agree. And you just have to try artisanal Patagonian chocolate. What can I say? That's the key. Order them all mm -hmm. and gobble them all up. And get a box and just one of this, one <laughs> of that. More, more, more. Voila. Voila. Well, these are adventures in Lago Pueblo on a Sunday. It is really difficult finding a place to eat, guys. It's like the whole town is sleeping. Very, very peaceful, very laid back. We're walking over to a sushi spot that hopefully, hopefully will be open. The thing is, guys, when you travel in these small towns in Patagonia in the off season, most things are shutting down and it makes sense. This is a very seasonal destination. And so I'd say like 75% of the restaurants we walk by today on a Sunday are closed, but the one we really want to visit might be open. Sushi. Fingers crossed. Let's check it out. Lunch time before a hike. Want to tell us what we got? Yeah, we got a, I think a 32 piece sushi set. Yes. Sushi. Sushi set. Sushi. Sushi. Yeah, we need to we need to have energy for this hike. Yeah, we decided to get some sushi to go, and now we're gonna eat. Well, I'll try one of these guys. Sure. The cream cheese. And we've got the soy sauce or teriyaki. Oh, I'm going that's for teriyaki. So oh, that's the soy. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> mm, very good. Yeah. Sushi's getting more popular here. Yeah, and this place it's called Mario's. Sushi. Yeah, they have all kinds of options. I think from 12 pieces all the way up to like 50 piece sets. And here we can see the others. We've got the classic salmon, Philly, avocado. Uh, looks like some crab stick. Anyways, we're gonna enjoy. So now we're gonna get up on the bridge on the Pasarela mm -hmm. and cross the river, Rio Azul, the Blue River. Blue river. Let's see how blue it looks. That's great, a little bit of a rickety uh, old suspension bridge, but beautiful views. We've got a couple of different options here for hiking. We're gonna go to the waterfall, the Cascada, and uh, that's the plan. Waterfall, do 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 do, waterfall, nice dance move. Woohoo! Okay, some information. So, we are visiting two places here on the other side of the bridge. The first one is called Cascada de Cardenas, that's the waterfall we're currently at. 
so basically once we got on the trail there were intersecting trails that we completely ignored and then there were parts where the trail split into two then we took the left because we were following our ears yeah. we could hear water towards the left so it's not really well marked no. uh but you can get there like it's not it's not that difficult use, use your natural senses use your senses <laughs> And now we're gonna continue to Mirador del Blanco, which is a lookout point, and it looks like it's another waterfall with lots of rocks. <laughs> 